It is the only school of its kind, and it attracts military aviators from around the world. The Landing Signal Officer School at Naval Air Station Oceana accepts only the best naval aviators. And today, the school accepted 10 on your side's Art Khan for a rare visit to that facility. Art? Yeah, uh, landing signal officers, or LSOs, are the men and women responsible for guiding their fellow aviators to a safe and precise landing on the moving flight deck of an aircraft carrier. They're serving around the world, but there's only one place that offers the specialized training this job requires, LSO School in Virginia Beach. An F-18 Hornet is making its final approach to the flight deck as the LSOs guide the pilot of that plane to a safe landing aboard the USS Eisenhower. These naval aviators have assisted with thousands of carrier landings and most are without incident. And sometimes things get really bad and when the weather gets rough, the seas are, are moving around and it's really dark out. It's a challenge to get those aircraft aboard. So LSOs land here to get the training they need to meet that challenge. Like most schools, this one has classrooms, but none are equipped with a simulator that puts the student on the flight deck of an aircraft carrier. Clear that. Roger ball, 27 knots. I think it's quite realistic. I think it's really good training for us. Lieutenant Chris Nostro should know he's witnessed about 10,000 carrier landings. But you be the judge. This is the view from the simulator, and this is the view from the LSO platform on the flight deck. Still, there's no substitute for the real thing. However, the simulator can create adverse conditions without risking lives and airplanes. You can see a lot of pitching deck. Uh, different winds, different emergencies, simulated emergencies and stuff like that. But there are also some artful things, if you will, uh, like making sure that you're uh, in tune with what the pilot is doing. LSOs have made a significant contribution to improving the safety of one of the most difficult and dangerous jobs in the world. And we've actually enjoyed one of the best uh, uh, mishap rates uh, back in 2010. We didn't have any carrier-based uh, mishaps. If you need to consider how significant that is, in the 1950s, carrier mishaps, crashes, and other emergencies were commonplace, sometimes numbering in the hundreds. Improving that safety record, but more importantly, saving lives, is a source of great pride for the school and its graduates. Art Con, 10 on your side. Always amazing video to watch them in action tonight.